Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel iNewsU. Today, we bring you a significant update from the United States Supreme Court that has sparked discussions nationwide. The court has allowed Idaho to enforce its strict abortion ban, even in medical emergencies. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this decision and its implications. Our top story today revolves around a recent decision by the Supreme Court, permitting Idaho to enforce its stringent abortion ban. This ruling holds, even in cases of medical emergencies. It marks the second major abortion dispute since the 2022 overturning of Roe v. Wade, giving states more authority to regulate or restrict abortion. In a legal battle initiated by the Biden administration, the Supreme Court has agreed to hear arguments in April. The lower court's ruling, which initially blocked the Idaho law in hospital emergencies, is now temporarily on hold. This decision comes on the heels of the 2022 overturning of Roe v. Wade, a landmark case that had long established a woman's right to choose. The Supreme Court's current stance raises questions about the direction of abortion rights in the United States. As if that wasn't enough, the Supreme Court is also set to hear a challenge to the Food and Drug Administration's rules for obtaining Mike Pristone. This medication is integral to the most common method of abortion in the United States. The Biden administration contends that hospitals, especially those receiving Medicare funds, are obligated to provide emergency care, including abortion, regardless of state laws. They cite the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, EMTLA, emphasizing the need to address severe medical conditions, such as bleeding, preeclampsia, and certain pregnancy-related infections. On the contrary, Idaho argues that the administration is misusing EMTLA, imposing what they term a federal abortion mandate on states. Idaho's Attorney General, Raul Labrador, emphasizes that EMTLA does not explicitly mention abortion. The court ruled against using EMPLA to require hospitals in Texas to provide abortions in cases where the pregnant person's life is at risk. This aligns with the position that EMPLA is silent on abortion, as highlighted by Judge James Wesley Hendricks. President Joe Biden expressed his objection to the Supreme Court's decision. He emphasized his administration's commitment to defending a woman's ability to access emergency care under federal law. The Supreme Court's order on Friday takes the case away from the appeals court, and a decision is anticipated by early summer. The outcome of this case will undoubtedly shape the landscape of abortion rights in the country. This development is just one facet of the legal battles unfolding in Idaho. Separately, a lawsuit has been filed, seeking clarification on the circumstances qualifying patients to receive legal abortions. Another legal hurdle involves a temporary block on Idaho's abortion trafficking law, which aimed to prevent minors from obtaining abortions without parental consent in states where the procedure is legal. As the legal landscape surrounding abortion rights continues to evolve, this Supreme Court decision amplifies the ongoing debate. We'll be closely following the developments in this case and related matters. Make sure to subscribe for more updates, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, stay informed.